Hi and welcome to foreveryounger.net. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use our at-home microdermabrasion scrub. This is a great scrub. It will leave your skin glowing and youthful. You will be shocked at how soft and smooth your skin is. And you're going to be shocked today when you see how easy it is to do at home. First thing you're going to want to do is pull your hair up. There's nothing worse than washing your face and getting stuff in your hair. I hate it. So throw your hair up and get your area ready. You need your scrub, you need a dry washcloth, and a towel. Um, first step is to grab your scrub. Um, this is made from crystals imported straight from Brazil. They are phenomenal. They're the same things you would use in your doctor's office when you go in for a microdermabrasion, except you get to do it at home at a fraction of the cost. You're going to start by getting a nice uh, dollop of our scrub and just go ahead and start putting it on. Stay away from your mouth. Stay away from your eyes. And just put it everywhere else. Now I am putting this on a face that's completely clean. I've already washed my face. My face is dry. And I'm putting this on my bare naked face. And then my first step after getting it on is to scrub. And you'll notice as I go, my face has a tendency to get a little red, but it's okay by the time we're done today. It'll be perfectly back to normal and glowing. So you're gonna scrub in little circles all around. And all you're doing here is removing that yucky dead layer of skin that we all have on our face that is keeping our skin from rejuvenating and developing a healthy set of skin cells on the surface. Now an optional step, once you're done scrubbing, is to grab a dry washcloth and scrub with this as well. You know your skin better than anyone. If, you, if your skin has a tendency to be really dull, go ahead and use this step. If your skin has a tendency to be really sensitive, this might be a step for you to skip. Um, but I love grabbing a washcloth and scrubbing a second time. When you're done, rinse with lukewarm water. Um, it will take a second to get the crystals off. So I always tell everyone, rinse twice. Make sure you get all of your skin cells off, or all of the dead skin cells and all of these wonderful crystals off your face. And when you're done rinsing uh, for a polishing finish, always rinse one last time with cold water. And dry. And as we all know, always follow up with your favorite moisturizer. To keep your skin um, as healthy as possible. Um, and you can see my skin is completely soft. It feels so clean and so clear and I am ready to get ready for the day and look my very best. See you later. Bye.